the complimentary breakfast. Mm. Chatting to Ref Wayne. The billionaire, as he says. Let's start here. Yeah. Where does Ref come from? Where, where were you born? Who are you? Mm. Who's Ref? Who's Ref Wayne? Who's Refile? I want Refile. Mm. What did Refile have to go through in life in order for Refile to be Refile today? Oof. What were your sacrifices? The most important question. Uh, besides like, school, besides yeah. failing, let's oh, talk about where you come from, the roots mm. where Refilo comes from. I want to know that. Ref Wayne comes from Soweto. Okay. And coming from Soweto, uh, I must emphasize the background was not uh, of kids and drama, mm. as you can see right now. Mm. The background was very sad yeah. because now in Soweto, when you grow up as a young child, you are being taught that the richer get richer, the poorer get poorer, mm. which is the saddest part. Uh, and uh, going up in that kind of circumstance, uh, it was only because of my vision and uh, my, 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 I can say my passion that I am here. Totally speaking, at that kind of circumstance, people don't survive. Mm. Because each and every day you are being taught one and the same thing, that this is where you end up. So uh, overcoming those kind of obstacles, uh, there were four principles that I, I, I've taught myself, direct experience really. I was able to, to, number one, have a very serious, great attitude through everything negative that was happening. My mom was not working. My dad was only getting some peace jobs. Then the, you can just imagine. At the same time, I'm a person who come, coming up with inventions. I'm young. People don't believe in me. Mm. Uh, they think maybe I'm a scam artist. They think maybe this young guy is, is crazy. You know, I'm young at that time. So great attitude was one of the most important assets that I had. Secondly, I also made sure that I have a self-discipline. I was disciplined because now uh, in that kind of environment you've got friends who want to sway you out of your direction who are telling you all about the nice time who are telling you all about uh, whatever that is happening at that time uh, but I said I'm going to have a self-discipline I'm going to continue fighting for my goals and then uh, I really I really did continue the self-discipline so yeah. so 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 Sia you know Sia mm. Shazi right oh, he, yes. he came out as, yeah. as as a millionaire oh. and then you popped up as a billionaire yeah um, which is good, man. I, I mean, it's, which is very good. Yeah. So now you are leaving for the States to meet Mark. Yeah. What's what's the reason of you meeting him? This is because what I'm doing right now. I believe right now I'm currently underrated in South Africa. Mm. Uh, and sometimes I feel, I wonder why. Because I've done so, I'm doing even till today, so many good things for everyone. Uh, most people today are millionaires because of me. The softwares that I've developed, such mm. as Bitcoin Digital Currency. And then luckily there are some people who are out there who have noticed what I'm doing for South Africa and Africa as a whole, and they've decided to invite me over. That is why I'm going to New York and meet with the, uh, the founder of Facebook. Mm. Because of this kind of things that I'm doing, positively towards my community, uh, that I feel that I should be a community for. Okay, but what's the reason of you meeting with Mark? Well, this is something powerful. I've created something very powerful. Remember that I'm, I'm the founder of the first digital currency in Africa. Yeah. This is yeah. this is another level. Some people call them levels. I said levels are for boys. These are dimensions. Uh, we are into dimensions now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. That's very, it's very serious because now in this dimension that I'm in, I see something beyond what people see. I see very far. I see 20 years from now. I see a greater South Africa. I see a very big economy uh, stabilized. I see... Very powerful. I see millionaires and billionaires as friends, people that we see every day. Supercars wow. must be an everyday thing. So yeah. basically what, what you do, as you said, your digital currency, yeah. is it the same as Bitcoins? It's the same as Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. Is no. your business a scam? That's okay. the question. Because I've been running question. through your social yeah. media yeah. and a lot of people, you know, you mm -hmm. obviously have negative people in life. But a lot of people, mm -hmm. they say your business is a scam. Now my yeah. question is, is mm -hmm. your business a scam? Let me explain to you why these people are saying my business is a scam. Ne? And by the way, there is only a few people. So they are talking so much that you will think that uh, it is most of them. Uh, these guys do not know. They don't understand the concept that I'm bringing to South mm -hmm. Africa. It's something that is new to them. Hence, they're calling it a scam. They don't understand where the money comes from. This is a digital currency. A digital currency, you can use it for four reasons. Number one, you can use it as an investment solution. People right now, they are, they are millionaires because they invested in Bitcoin when it was still early. Yeah. Like right now, it's still 100 rand. Next month, it's going to be shifting the price. And uh, remember that Bitcoin, the first digital currency in yeah. the world, started yeah. in the one rand. Right now, exactly. uh, I was talking to the gentleman right now, it's, it's generating thousands and thousands of rands mm. right here in your studios. Secondly, you can use it, this digital currency, to buy things online. It's a tangible asset. Actually, yeah. it's not really tangible in the sense that you can have it in, with you, but now it has value. You can buy things online. I can buy a cell phone with Pipcoin on the pipcoinstore.com. Mm. It's something that is real. 
Mm. So people who are calling this game, they don't understand it. They don't know digital currency. They should educate themselves. They should educate themselves. Yeah. That is why I'm here. So uh, let me, and let, I don't blame them. Really. Let me ask you a question, mm. right? Um, I quote, mm-hmm. I have took, I took doctors out of the streets. Mm-hmm. I took lawyers out of the streets. Oh, yes. I took nurses out of the streets. Oh, yeah. You know, mm-hmm. you don't need anything. You need a laptop. Yeah. <laughs> you relate to that, right? This is me. I've made people millionaires. Mm-hmm. Yeah thousand years even if, if there's a word like yeah. that i'm a centenary i still have to get there sorry. so <laughs> sorry, sorry. i feel sorry for you i still have to get i'll sorry. get there i'll get there As don't worry i took these like people players. i took these people out of the mm-hmm. streets mm-hmm. right now you talk about yesterday was june 16 yeah now we talk about employment how many people have you employed ref give yeah. us the numbers over 100 people across south africa Today, do you have working. proof? Do you have proof I, of this down in the now, website? If I, if I can, now, now, I can say now to my people now, and I'm telling them right now, you must check my Facebook. Mm. Anyone who has benefited and is still benefiting from Ref Wayne uh, community projects, what I'm doing for them, if you are someone who's benefiting directly from what I'm doing, I want you to post on my wall right now. You must watch social media. Yeah. Now, this is why I'm saying that forget about my bank statement. You are looking at the wrong p- uh, place. Yeah. Look at what I'm doing for the people. That is what yeah, I was man. supposed to talk about. How do you start? Who, fi- who financed you, Ref? Every- uh, Every man needs yeah. a mentor. Every businessman yeah. needs a mentor. How did you start? Did you accept any tenders from anyone? Are you involved with tenders? I mean, no. that is, it's the whole thing that people... Look, it's yeah. a misconception that they have. I know. I know. That when you're successful so this country, um, you you must have you know, a had a tender from yeah. someone. Tender. You know what yeah. I mean? How did you get the finance? You, yeah. you come from a very poor background. How did you start? How did you get the finance? Yeah, and uh, you know, I must mention something. I love your question. How did I get the finance? Isn't it? Uh, you know, when you believe in, in your goal, you believe in yourself, you believe in your vision, uh, even when you get those rejections that you spoke about earlier, but there will be one person who says, my man, I love what you're doing. Mm. Uh, Facebook founder, Mark Zuckerberg, he was uh, seen as someone who is very controversial because he, he did a lot of things at school. He was doing a lot of softwares. And looking at his history, one person just said to him, you know what, let's run with this thing. Peter Thiel, the founder of PayPal. And me too. One person just said to me, Ralph mm. Wayne, nice. we are going to do this. Wow. Let's go. Yeah. What's your biggest regret? My biggest regret, really, was that you the truth. What tell, tell, tell the truth. I feel, like, I feel like I should have started earlier. I feel oh, like nice. I should have wow. left school in grade five. Nice. How old are you now, Rev? I'm, I just turned 21 now. 21 years old. You learned words from self, a billionaire in South Africa. That's the All right. Then, and then um, I, I have a question, definitely. Um, uh, uh, where do you differ from Triple M? Okay. Yeah. Uh, remember now, we are Pipcoin. I must mention this on air. Pipcoin is not a donation or a stock fail. Yeah, yeah, Pipcoin yeah, yeah, yeah. is the digital currency where money is generated from the uh, purchase of the coins. The coins appreciate or depreciate in value when people buy and sell. It's economics. Yes. Supply and demand. Sometimes it's 100 rand, sometimes 200, 500, 1,000. Just, just like, like Forex. Yeah, just like... Th- ah, you got That's it. it. Yes. And then now, uh, we must understand, money is not exchanging hands. Because you know why people say sometimes it's, it's a Ponzi? Hey, this is a Ponzi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Money exactly. is exchanging hands without any product or service whatsoever. That says to the government, this is a Ponzi. Exactly. Now, because government has understood my concept, hence, uh, yesterday they invited me personally. Remember the premium of Houghton invited me, exactly. MEC yes. uh, of Education invited me yesterday. Uh, what was it, two days ago when I was addressing the, 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 the youth? Even today, I'm still going to go there and address wow. the youth Just and even them wow. because and they ha- understand the concept. Hence, you're sitting here not in jail. Yes or no? no, 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 no. Have exactly. you <laughs> ever accepted a tender? No, there's no tender <laughs> that Dunkey. I know about. Community projects you're involved with, what have you done thus far? Uh, right now, I've been going around, uh, making sure that everyone understands uh, success principles because I feel like uh, people have been liberated uh, for, to at least gather around, not being, terror- being called terrorists. So mm. now what I'm doing is that I'm going to schools, I'm going to uh, places such as Devon, uh, all these other places I've been going to. Uh, to. I'm giving people... Uh, Free forex classes. Okay. I teach people how to trade because one of my first uh, jobs that I did was trading. Yeah. And then I teach people how to trade because I've developed software which is very powerful and I give them for free. There is not in, in, in one day where I ask people uh, for any funds, for anything. For a three-day uh, class. Yeah. Does your company offer bursaries? Wow. I mean, we've got the youth bursaries, out here. Yes. Yeah. Um, does it offer bursaries? bursaries? People must go to pipcoin.co.za and then you'll find under initiative uh, where it's written uh, school donations and also um, ideas, business uh, 
funding. So I funded them as well. I really start up all uh, people who I see that they've got a very serious vision. Maybe people don't believe in them. I know where they're coming from. Yeah. I know what they're going through, so I help them. Sweet. So Rev, last words for the youth back, of South Africa? Guys, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Uh, the youth of South Africa must start to wake up. Uh, currently, I feel like they're very stubborn. Uh, they're focused in other things that do not matter. Uh, let us go back to now seeing the vision seeing the purpose let us now live with a purpose what is your goal what do you want to do do something for your community stop what you're doing we are currently south africa is currently in emergency mode anytime we can fall into recession we need people who can think like ref wayne who can say right now i've got this idea right now i've got this i want it to go out wow. there mm. yeah powerful thank you very much ref it was it was an honor meeting you it's the complimentary breakfast mm.